Here we're gonna look at a solution to problem B2 from the year 2000 Putnam exam. So this has a pretty quick solution. And so our goal is to show for all integers n bigger than or equal to m bigger than or equal to one that the GCD of mn divided by n times the binomial coefficient n choose n is an integer. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys one really quick hint before we look at a solution, because this hint will take you almost all the way to the answer. And that hint is to use, use something called Bezu's identity. Okay, so maybe pause the video, give that hint a go, and then we'll look at a solution. Hopefully that hint was helpful. Now we're ready to look at a solution. So let's go ahead and take this term right here. So we have the GCD of M and N divided by N times, n choose m and now we want what we want to do is apply the hint in other words apply Bezu's identity and that tells us that there exist integers a and b such that the GCD of m and n can be written as a linear combination of m and n in other words we have GCD of m n equals a m plus b n so this is a standard fact from elementary number theory and Many, many, many times when you're doing these problem solving type exams involving the GCD, you'll use this kind of expression to rewrite that GCD in terms of a linear combination and that'll help you out with simplification. So let's see what that does for us. We have AM plus BN all over N times the binomial coefficient N choose M. So we can separate this fraction into parts and maybe distribute onto the binomial coefficient as well. So we have AM over N times N choose M plus BN over N, but that's just gonna be B times N choose M. And now at this stage, we can already see how this is shaping up because N choose M is an integer, B is an integer, which means this entire term is an integer. So we probably don't need to rewrite that ever again and we can just focus on this guy right here. And so there's a standard binomial coefficient identity that will allow you to do this in one step, but let's skip that and just use the definition of a binomial coefficient to simplify this left-hand term. So we're gonna have a m over n, and then we can write n choose m as n factorial over m factorial times n minus m factorial. So that's the definition of a binomial coefficient among natural numbers. And then I'm just gonna keep this guy as b times n choose m. Okay, great. Now we've got some simplification that can occur. So notice this n, can cancel this n factorial if we view it as n times n minus one factorial. So we've got this simplification. And then likewise, this m can simplify this m factorial if we view it as m times m minus one factorial. So we've got that cancellation as well. Okay, and then we wanna do one more thing, and that is we'll rewrite n minus m as n minus one minus m minus one. So notice I've really just added and subtracted one there. Okay, great, so now let's write out what we have. So we're gonna have a times n minus one factorial it's, is what's left in the numerator, and then in the denominator we have m minus one factorial times n minus one minus the quantity m minus one factorial. Great, so we've got that. And then we still have this plus b times n choose m. But now we notice that this is the binomial coefficient n minus one choose m minus one. So we can write this as a times n minus one choose m minus one plus b, then we still have n choose m. But now all portions of this um, expression are integers. A was an integer, B was an integer. These binomial coefficients are integers given this setup here where N is bigger than or equal to M is bigger than or equal to one. So that means this combination is an integer and that's the end of the problem. And that's a good place to stop.